Hello, and welcome to the Source One podcast. Consider us your source for the latest procurement, supply management, and strategic sourcing insights, anytime, anywhere. Hi, this is Jennifer Ulrich from Source One. I'm an associate director here, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how to actually network for professionals. So being a part of a growing organization certainly has its perks and pitfalls. One objective that comes with actively contributing to the growth of the company is networking. And it can be viewed as a perk or a pitfall. I've been doing some research on best practices to make sure that I'm making my efforts worthwhile and thought, why not share some of my collective tips with my closest friends? Take them as you may, and let me know what experience you had in networking for yourself and your business. Let's take both sides of the coin in each situation. So, from a do and don't perspective. Do, have business cards in an ample amount. If you're expecting to meet 50 people, bring 100 cards. Don't expect people to remember or write down your contact information. Another related don't, don't forget to collect their card as well. You don't want to be stuck in a hope he'll call first situation. Do make notes on the back of the business cards you collect with key points that will help you remember that person on the next day. Don't give out a card to everyone and anyone. Consider those you might actually do business with, but keep in mind that while they may not be a prospect today, they may be tomorrow. Do mingle, mingle, mingle. Okay, so this is not speed dating, but you should try to work the room a bit so you interact with several people throughout the event. Don't spend all night talking to one person. You'll likely miss out some other really great connections. Do sit with a table full of strangers. You're here to meet people, so put yourself in a position that will encourage you to do so. Don't be joined at the hip with a colleague or a friend. You are not at work or at the club, so you do not need a wingman or woman. In fact, go to these events alone. It will further push you to meet new people. Do practice and use a well-structured, memorable elevator pitch. You want people to remember you and your business, so build in key factors that make your business unique and stand out from the rest of the crowd. Don't make yourself the focus, professionally, unless you're an independent professional, or personally. You're not there to talk about your new puppy or the great date you had last week. Keep the topic on work while keeping the conversation light and engaging. Do give a firm handshake. The handshake is the entrance to that first impression. Make sure it's strong but not overwhelming or sweaty. No one likes a sweaty handshake. Don't be overzealous in your approach. You don't want to scare them away before you even start the conversation. Do eat and drink in moderation. This is not a wedding with an open bar. Be mindful that you need to speak with people with eloquence and nothing in your teeth. Don't get drunk. One of the biggest don'ts in networking is having one too many and leaving a sour taste in people's mouths. Save your table dancing for spring break in Cancun. Do prepare questions that will clearly and concisely get you the right information to gauge the connection quickly. No use wasting an hour talking to someone, albeit interesting, who has no connection with your business type. Don't forget to follow up. Email, call, connect with them in some way within a few days while the conversations are still fresh. Finally, do keep in regular communication with your new connections. Even a few times a year, see what they're up to. Don't forget to nurture your current network. Develop some type of cycle to ensure you have routine check-ins with all your key connections. I hope this collection of tips is helpful. There are many more, but I can only hold your attention for so long. So again, I'd love to hear more about your stories and networking gone right or terribly wrong, so please feel free to comment below. You've been listening to the Source One podcast. For more strategic sourcing and procurement insights every day, visit our blog, The Strategic Sorcerer. Want to provide feedback or suggest a topic for a future episode? Let us know at PRRequest at SourceOneInc.com. Thanks for listening.